So now that we have the new uh, NVRAM real-time clock chip installed, I have to do some do some work here. So if I pull up the banner, oh by the way, this is on the Spark Station 10. Um, going as you can see, the Ethernet address, the host ID is all is all you know empty, right? So we have we have the new NVRAM chip in here and we're going to need to populate it with some values. So I'm using the procedure described in the NVRAM uh, host ID FAQ, uh, FAQ. So that uh, is untried. So you're watching along with me for something that I have not done ever. So my old Sun Gear, I never had to do this on it. So we will see how this works. They're going to use a little bit of the... Um, you know, open boots uh, capabilities to do this, and uh, even putting in a loop at the bottom to generate the checksum. So let's uh, get this in. So this is going to be uh, a uh, two. Uh, a byte value and then an address in the NVRAM. So what we just did was the, I don't know what the 01 was, but the 72 is the machine type for a Spark Station 10. And and the 08 O20 is Sun's Ethernet address base. So I'm sure this is riveting, riveting watching. But uh, uh, sorry, I'm having to read while I while I do this. And we will set the uh, what do we want our Ethernet address to be? I know it's going to be in hex, so. Uh, something that'll be interesting. So, let's say, we'll call it FE. Sorry, typo there. Yeah, so we'll do iron, cobalt, and barium. Why not some elements, just for fun? And then we have our loop. Okay, now let's see if that took hold. So now we have got our Ethernet address set and our correct host ID. So let's set some defaults in here. So let's turn off auto boot. Oh, see, isn't open boot wonderful? Uh, so now auto boot is false. Let's uh, reset. Let me just see if make sure. Can't type tonight. Let's make sure that 
um, the diagnostic switches false and let's reset and hopefully this will boot up correctly well that is pretty slick so the new NV RAM is installed so more more spark stuff to come um, in future videos have the uh, playing around with uh, Sun OS 4. Um, let me know in a comment if you want to see. I can get my little rig put back together to see if you want to see uh, CPU installation. And we'll need to put the new uh, Open Boot ROM in here because we're in ROM revision 2.14 and the Ross HyperSparks need a 2.22 or later ROM. So I have a 225R. Uh, which should work. So, uh, thanks for watching, um, and uh, probably do more Spark videos soon.